Okay, everyone. Um, I'm David Daly, owner and operator of Pusk Adventures here in Churchill. I come from the Métis Nation, and uh, me and Moose here would just like to say a great big thank you to ITAC and the ITAC team for the for uh, granting us uh, be one of the Indigenous tourism businesses in Canada to get this, uh, a part of the stimulus fund to help us keep our company alive and, and, and well during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Um, we have 40 dogs that live here with us and uh, the stimulus fund is going to go a long way to helping us buy dog food and straw and uh, parvo shots and uh, rabies shots and to keep us going while our customers are staying away safe at home. Okay, uh, we survive in Churchill here on an international market from all over the world. Our summer is going to be shot for this for the beluga whale season, and we're hoping that maybe by the fall something might come back to Churchill. This is Solo. This is my main leader in my in in my kennel. She's uh, she's what we call Mama Dog because she's had two litters of puppies, uh, but now she's spayed and neutered. Costs a lot of money to uh, to keep these 40 sled dogs. So these dogs are going through $90 worth of food a day, all these 40 dogs, and uh, they all just got a fresh bed of straw. You know, here in Churchill, everything's way more expensive than it is down south. For instance, when we buy a pallet of kibble, it's about $3,600 for 50 bags, and it costs about $800 to get it here uh, up to Churchill. You know, it's uh, when you live in the north and you're from an isolated community where we only have access with a train and an uh, airplane, uh, you know, things are rather expensive by the time you get it here. In the summer months now, we just finished our last of our supply of our frozen ground chicken and we're on a kibble diet for the next four months. Okay, so this is uh, uh, an expensive time of year for us when we're straight on to the kibble. And that's what the stimulus grant is going to help us do, feed and keep these dogs healthy with the best kibble on the planet called Red Paw. So they're, they're an amazing family of dogs. And uh, I was told that, uh, you know, with this, with, with this COVID-19 that I should, uh, I should downsize my kennel. I have no idea how to do that. You know, if with Indigenous culture and who we are, this is our dog family. And uh, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't downsize my people family and there's no way I can downsize my dog family. They mean just as much to me as, uh, as my people family do, does. So, you know, these, these dogs are very special dogs. Come on, hurry um, up. They get treated better than most house dogs, you know, and, uh, and they get a lot of exercise and love and nurturing. And that's what you see within my kennel. Thank you very much, ITAC and the ITAC team for choosing us as one of the stimulus grant um, recipients. And, uh, it's going to really help us survive till this COVID-19 ends. So thank you everybody from Solo and me, and from all my dogs in my kennel, a big thank you. Miigwech.